Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Trom Yuan Shao Let's Play. We continue for episode 4 from turn 16 in the harvest season of 193. So we ended last episode with Gong Sun Zan besieging uh, his former capital, Wuhai. We took it. And we're gonna break the siege. We're gonna do it by attacking the army that's actually sieging us. That's the only way we can drag the city garrison and the units inside to help us in this fight. They did delay our replenishment and actually caused us to take quite a bit of attrition. Uh, as you can see, we can do a Pyrrhic victory here if we want to. If we want to just fight them off. This army is kind of wrecked. The generals have no health. They also are heavily nerfed in this version of the game. Hmm. It's not a give me, but um, I think it'll be fine. We still have our siege weapon. Uh, play have to back up, wait for our reinforcement to come in, uh, as they're bringing that siege weapon with them. We really want their capital of Pingyuan. We have to work on that one. Okay. City in the background. How are they so injured? We'll send them to die. I think we finally have all the units going to the right places. Okay, Johnny has his splash ability.
We will just ignore their infantry. Join's gone. Yeah, we're totally fine in this position. They can't do much to us. And then we'll just crush Gongsun's on here as well. They can't scale this hill. Yep. Gongsun's on's gone. We're gonna spread them out. We'll just wait for the other group. We could shift this to maybe here. Feels like a lot of work, but I guess it's fine. They're kind of on the hill. I don't know if I like that. I think... Hmm. We're going to have to face them this way, though. Ooh. Back it off, back it off. We'll go behind this hill. And then we'll show up behind them. Okay, here we go. Probably gonna route before it gets to that. I want it, but I want to be the one asking. I'm challenging her. She seems easier. We get more experience this way. Or at least that's how I worked in the base game. Alright, they're out of range units. Except for this guy, but we should be able to kill it soon. Let's just control our cavalry. We have a lot of it. You three flank to the side. Block that charge. 3v1. We can just go for the axe. Alright, that's the opening right there. Flank around, flank around. 
Execution? Looks like he just stabbed him. Alright, we'll just let them go. It's fine. We just had to break the siege. We'll chase a couple army down. We probably... Probably want to wipe out all three armies. Because we want the peace deal. They'll probably rebuild. There's a chance Gongsun Zhan doesn't resummon himself. But he's not the problem. It's Zhao Yun, right? We always get the faction leader when we vassalize. We don't always get people like Zhao Yun. Ah! Problem solved. Do we even need to vassalize him? Because Zhao Yun would be our main target. Gongsun Zhan would be kind of whatever. Alright, I want this movement more than anything else, I think. So we got Zhao Yun. Huh. Our, our sun and air picked up another rank. We want this, but probably not more than that. Not very happy kid. Let's change that a little bit. All right, let's see what he has. Veteran militia cavalry, earth units. Gets a bonus in duels. Discipline for retinue, battle running speed, sweeping arc, ready saw in action. He actually has the splash damage, 60 second cooldown. This is like Xu Huan's ability. And he still has elemental vigor. The numbers are changed, but they're still very high. They have a range weapon. Mostly base damage on the melee part. And the range part. And we don't have a lot of ammo on these. So it's kind of harassment style. It's decent. I mean, it's militia quality, apparently. He's lame. I don't know. I don't think we made him lame. I mean, he lost the battle to us, so... I mean, it's fine. You always get one injury trait. It's not a big deal. I mean, we got ourselves a splash damage. It, it's a melee attack auto, so it's not something we control. It's just like he comes in, just does an arc sweep. We'll definitely have him on the field. Now the question is, what do we do with the rest of these boys? We take out him. Just delegate this. We got our ten fight. So what do we what do we what do we do we get item? Now they want us to save money. Oh we get the item. Okay. It cannot be unequipped. I'm usually pretty hesitant to use these. But with the way the units are changed here, maybe we'll use them a little bit more.
，一统天下。名门之后。I'm surprised there's no faction-wide bonus. And I think we just get disencouraged first. I guess we're saving money for a few turns just to get that trigger and see what other missions we'll get. We have more than enough to wipe out Gongsun Zan. I think that's probably what we will do. We'll actually just wipe him out here. It's a lot cleaner. We got Draw Yun, we don't need to vassalize. We'll still build buildings. We're going to continue to invest in this particular Captain Retinue. We might want to wait for that, though. Unbreakable is really good. We're pretty close to... No, we're not. We're not even close to 300. We can give them stock. Invisible Cavalry. Yeah, unbreakable. It's a big difference maker. What's his value now? Peace. Yep, it's very high. Mm. No, but no peace deal. We really want Pingyuan. It's a very lucrative... I mean, there's not that many lucrative commanderies in the north. We just got to pick it up when we can. That's pretty much it. Let's continue. Okay, so we definitely have a supply issue. It's because of the local reserve. I mean, not much we can do about this. We just have to get out of the commandery, to be honest. <laughs> we actually could try to get this added in for situations like this. But we're just going to force it. Like, we're not replenishing anyways. Might as well just try to get things moving. His wife. Hmm. I mean, she's an MTU character, so... Maybe her abilities will be interesting? Or we'll release for the cash. Would be assassin, so we'll become wounded here. Okay. We pick up a wounded trait, I bet. We're also lame. Happens to the best of us. Yeah, we definitely want the roar. Not sure if we want that though. I mean, reward the filial and incorrupt. We can have him do that. I don't think I'm going to make her administrator though.
This is pretty rough. I actually think if we get into enemy territory, he'll drop less. Okay, he's in the river. That's not good. That's not a good sign. Especially with our army in this state. Okay, we're building everywhere. Nothing too interesting here. If we want to save him up to potentially pick him up, this is where we kind of just let him off the hook, which I think is okay. It's not going to be a threat with only one fishing port. And we can pick up some much needed cash infusion. Kind of tied us over. Like, you want to get paid for your wars. Like, he's more useful alive than dead. This trade is worth 486. He's giving me out. So, we're getting about 800 per turn from him. And the chance of vassalizing him in the later periods of the game. And all we're missing out is some food. And he can upgrade that fishing port for us maybe to level 5 or closer to level 5 when we actually could make some money from there. And we can turn our attention to the Han territories and the incoming yellow turbans. Although this supply, this supply issue is... is something. Anyhow, let's uh, continue here. I'm assuming... Oh, he goes back. Oh, he... Wait, he U-turned. He fought in the U-turn and then came back to die on our shores. Okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Gong Sun Zan's daughter is born in our faction because we have his wife. That is interesting. Do we want a better relationship with our son? Oh, we also get some experience point. Or do we want a better relationship with Gong Sun-san's wife? We'll pick the wife. We'll pick the lady. Our son's not going to be our heir in the future. She gets a rank up here. She can do gathering volunteers. Eventually be a okay administrator. I mean, she also has pacifist, which is good for administrators as well. Sacrificial matriarch. More like get murdered by your own husband. I mean, they were in a burning fortress. He killed the wife and kids and then suicided, so... Guess you could forgive him for that. We'll get this first. Alright, we want to remove that army from the field. We're gonna... Go back and occupy this. We'll try to recover some supplies. Same thing here. We'll do a quick hit and back. Oh, they went back to their city. Once we get some supplies, we'll finally be able to heal, but... Let's just remove the enemy threat, which I think also messes up some of our supply issues for the town itself. I just hope we have enough movement afterward to get back into the town. We can always march. Oh wow, that's a lot of casualties. Get some back. He's gone. Good, good, good. We're gonna have to march. That way we can get some supplies so we can finally heal. Give me some replenishment from you two. Or we can have the wife. It's only 5%. We want the 10%. Let's do it. We can stack, actually. If it's that case, it's two different, different assignments. We can stack them. Alright, both army needs rest. Gong Sun Zan is done. We gotta take this as quickly as possible. We also will take Zhongshan. That's a little bit of extra peasantry income. And then we're probably gonna go to war for Taiyuan. Just cause it's gonna give us some money. Sounds good. Zanba in the picture yet? Nope. Oh, 
Hmm. No good. We're gonna have to wait till that food deal expires and then maybe give him a combination. Alright, pretty straightforward. Let's continue. Liu Bei is going to wipe out Wang Shao for us. Wang Quan? Really now? Okay. Hmm. I guess I will slowly go back to take care of him. And then we'll leave this army around here because they can do the attacks. They probably should heal. I mean, we should get supplies for at least one more turn. There are some reforms, I believe, that give supplies like this that we could probably consider as well now that we have this problem. It wouldn't slow us down because this is five reforms, so we can actually still get that in the third year. This also gives supplies. Five supplies, six supplies, a little bit more getting this first. Yeah, we're fine. Anything fun here? Uh, that's going to give us nothing. Public order would be nice. Reset skill tree for drawing. It, it looked fine. Might as well just build up Pingyuan. We get an extra build, that's the more important thing. So we invest most of our money on that. We're resting, they're, they're moving back to help defend. It does build up quite fast. Mm, spring. I don't think we can get much here. Oh, he got himself a port. Good for him. That also probably put us on a timer for when we can pick up Pingyuan, because he's probably going to invade north if we don't. Even though historically we go south, we take his land. Or our son does that. Too low. Okay, we're fine. We're gonna do a tax collection here. He is in a war with Gongsundu as well, so he's gotta be busy there. We don't have to worry too much about it. They declared, but they haven't attacked us. We also didn't check her active. Flower of the Battlefield, that's a common one. Okay, all these are pretty common, actually. We have your kid. We have your daughter. Not that we want her, but we have her. I'm not going to recruit any units because they're not going to heal in time. I think we got everything covered. We could shift tax rate, especially since we picked up the plus 10 public order. So it's probably beneficial for us to pump up the tax rate at least one time. Two times might be a little bit too much. Right, that way we have a decent income here. We could start another army with Zhao Yun. Oh, we need some cash to pull him out on the field. He has a pretty big retinue. Hmm. So 2,000. Not too bad. We can pull him out next turn if we want. Ideally, we save money for a few turns, though. So let's continue. Mm, no, it's cheap. We're going to take this this turn, even though we're not healing very much, it's fine. Straight to the point. Zhao Yun and him does not get along. Oh, Zhao Yun is feeling sad, but... He'll be fine. We'll summon him. He'll have his own army. 
He wouldn't feel too terrible. We're staying in towns just to get the supplies back up. Alright, we got our 300. Let's get some things done. Um, I mean, it, it makes sense for us to give them... I mean, we just need to pick this up for the whole faction. It's only used once, so there it is. Oh, it's the same buildings. Okay, so we don't need to do too much. We'll just build this first. Zamba. Okay, we're not building anything. Zamba's coming with us. I'm poor. Oh, just a little bit off. Okay, can we get some cash? Uh, that's not high enough. I'll give him an item. Because I can't give him food. Mm, maybe, maybe this one? We really don't need much, so it's fine. Come on. Where's that maximum? Oh, we also should... Hmm. What if they changed him? I don't think they would, though. Crafty Operator. There we go. 15% recruitment discount and 15% upkeep discount for Captain Red News. We would have to somehow add him to our family. It would just be adoption, most likely. And then he's going to be our heir for that particular bonus, and that's it. I mean, we can wait till Prime Minister, but it's probably going to take too long. It's a huge difference for us. We would be enjoying 45% upkeep discount for all our Captain Red News and 60% recruitment discount for all our Captain Red News. It's, it's a big deal. He wouldn't have to do anything else for us. We would just want him to join us and make him our son. He's also very young, so he's going to be here all the time. We don't get to build this, though. That's okay. This is more important. Uh, not going to get much from that. We're just going to have to wait. Money's still tight. Got ourselves a good horse. There's no, uh, I guess there's no speed change, just a stat change. Okay. I don't know if I want to give him that. He has an interesting unit himself, so I don't think he's going to be the one getting that. But if you don't have interesting units, maybe I will be handing those out. Anyhow, let's continue. We didn't even look at Zamba's. I guess the fighting's all over here now. I don't want his land. Liu Bei killed him. We could probably trade with Liu Bei. Guo Jia wants to join us. Uh, because we have Xun Yu. Xun Yu will introduce people to Guo Jia. That's an event in the game. Love it. We're basically stealing Cao Cao's advisors. I have to do this first. Plus three, not a big deal. I think we just extract. I mean, Lady Mi is a nice character, but she rarely defects. Now, Chen Deng got Sima Ying's art. Yeah, we are just gonna come back. Plus three, we'll be fine. Oh. Maybe just in case we want to do... What if he has defense on this side? 
Uh, most likely not. Yep. Gambled correctly. Alright, Zamba's coming back. We're gonna have that discount going. We're still losing supplies because of faction support and reserve issues. Mm. We're gonna move towards Zhongshan. Oh, we can get to Henei. Okay, we're going to Henei. I am thinking of summoning an army here. Uh, the problem is Zhaoyun has a huge retinue. Overwhelming seems pretty good. I'll try to work towards that. Fire control? Hmm. He also gets a Juggernaut. Tribuchet explosive. How do we get a Tribuchet, though? Little confused about the Tribuchet part. Maybe I'll figure out later, anyhow. Uh, unless it's... I mean, we get more advanced captain retinue, that's kind of what we were waiting for. And then elite one later on. We want the satisfaction boost here. We're just gonna have to expand. We're gonna have to save money, pump out new armies. And then send those new armies on... Warpath to get us even more money. This one eventually will be a little bit of commerce. It'll be a little bit of everything. Look at that first. I don't want to spend that money though. I think we switch him off. We're good. Hmm. Rather get the money right now. Honestly, these two units are not doing as much as we need them to do for their cost. But we can't recruit them right now, so... Maybe it is a rank thing. I mean, he's rank 7 already, though. A tad confused. Get us some trade surplus going. I think that's all we want to do here. Yep. Giant also declared, huh? I guess it's the alliance thing. Yeah. Oh, no, not that. Maybe it happened earlier? I mean, that's not an armor we can take off. Zambai is here. 
So it's 4,000 to adopt, I believe. We don't have a suitable daughter to just marry him into the family. I mean, she's too young. Yeah, we lack the fund. I could also divorce my wife, make him marry her. And then he'll be part of the family, I believe, because she will be still part of the family since the kids are here. Then he's sort of our ex-wife is husband. It's not cheap to divorce either. It's a thousand and the marriage, I believe, is like two thousand. It's a little bit cheaper. It's a little bit cheaper, but it's kind of weird. So we won't do that. Finally, getting some supplies. This can be canceled. I want drawing to come out into the field. He's going to be a very sad boy. I don't know how to keep Yuntan from like exploding here. I can make him my chancellor. That's probably what ha I have to do. All right, we're fine here. I think we can, uh, if we pull drawing out, we can't adopt next turn. Okay, adoption first, adoption first. Any buildings we can do? We'll give Zamba something to do, I think. He can only do one thing right now. Doesn't like the local administrator, huh? Huh. I don't need to respect his feelings. He's going to be our adopted son and heir. He's going to be fine. Where is he? There's more food production here, so he's going to get more bonus. Alright, we're good. Adoption's still not going to kick in because we built some buildings, but I don't think we should delay building. So maybe not. Hold on. Can we get... Well, oh, this is going to be a good number, actually. He's pretty loaded. Hmm. I don't think we can get a thousand five hundred fifty from him. Yep. Rooney saw ya. Not enough. Also, a little bit short. Maybe we we can't get too far. Should we attack them? I feel like... We're not exactly strong enough to go offensively. Oh, actually, they're not that strong. Especially since generals are overrated now. See so if we can trap one. That would be great. But they, they look very passive. Send out his son. Guess Wong Sun is going to die on his roster. Hmm, that's a useful one. They're not moving. I would like to have them have more help before we do much. 
Hong San Ho. That's okay. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. We are 400 short. We save a turn if we build this this turn. But then the adoption is going to have to be delayed again. I don't want to delay the adoption, so... The building will just have to be one turn longer. I don't think one... Hmm. Can we get enough cash? Maybe we can do the adoption this turn. We only need about 200 from each of them. So... Oh, wow. Thank you for supporting adoptions. Hold on, we can get a little bit more than this. Oh, too much, too much, too much. Let's move him first. Ooh, usually it doesn't remove it from the right character. Yep, it's fine. We'll fix the next turn. I should have picked the other one. That's usually how it works. Get some authority. Still a 30. Not too bad. Alright, I think that's pretty much what we want. Now the discount's kicked in. And we can just spam out more units. He's now willing to pay quite a bit for the vassalage. They ran, okay. Oh. There's also an unknown. This is from the mod. We'll figure out what happens at the banquet. And it was assassination attempt again. We can only get one wounded trait. The Emperor comes of age and try to kill us. It's not going to change anything. He's just going to be kind of unavailable for the battle. We have a generic model leading the army. Alrighty, so I think that's a good place to end things. Uh, we just got an assassination attempt on us. We're gonna start using our cash. I guess next turn will be when we will start pumping out additional armies. We need the turn for the money and also we kind of want to see what else we can do with it. Not much for faction council events. We got the character we wanted from the spy pool, which is fairly lucky. We can pick up two new reforms, which will help with our military supply issues. And hopefully we can hit our Marquis rank pretty quickly. We're going to expand west now, having secured the northern border of the Yellow River. Wang Quan, Zhang Yang looking to, you know, looking for their own death, declaring war on us. 
We're gonna find Zhang, uh, Zhang He some help, and then we'll start killing them. We're gonna declare war on the yellow turbans here, take this out, and then we probably also will declare war on Zhang Yan and just start taking him out as well. The, the fact that there are two directions might make me delay it a little bit. I might pull the army down, and then we might just take care of these two first, so that then we can throw all the armies towards the two bandits. And then once we wipe out the Black Mountain area and secure Hodong, so basically using the Yellow River as a boundary, having most of this, we can keep the army in the south just to keep an eye out on the potential attack from any of these factions. We want to keep trading them food to kind of maintain that relationship. But the main force will be pushing north. Liu Yu, Gong Sun Du, Gong Sun Zan will all get wiped. Once that's done, we'll follow history a little bit and push into the Qing province, which is wiping out Kong Rong and them. They could be a good neighbor, and we might change that because he will obviously offer us uh, quite a lucrative trade deal. We could just be a good warlord and actually try to save the emperor from Dong Min, since we are going to come over here. And then reestablish uh, the capital here in Chang'an and see if we can take the west and then just be a northern towards southern push beyond that point. So we'll see where we get from here. So until then, bye.